Sunday, March 24th. Now, my Uncle Mal had been telling me about Ralph Borsodi and the Bayard Lane community back in the time of the Depression, and I took an interest in this. So other elders were talking to me about their time during the Great Depression, and that's when my mom, Tessie, standing in the kitchen, started to tell me about her time in the Depression. And she said that her father, that would be my grandfather, Maurice Kiley, he had been the postmaster in Norwood. It was in a little train station alongside the tracks. And um, during that time in the Depression, they'd made a little candy store in the front room of the family house for extra income. And she said that she remembered she and her sisters took part in a lot of neighborhood activities like they had like block parties and, and outdoor Sunday dinners and all. She said that when things were tough, everyone pulled together. Everyone comes together to help everyone else out. And I said, wow, has it ever been like that since? And Tessie thought about it. And she said, well, during World War II, everyone came together to fight Hitler. I said, okay, but, but how about now? Has it been like that really close to now? Tessie thought about this. She said, yes, uh, last, uh, you know, when Kennedy was shot, when he was killed, everyone came together to mourn. Okay, but Ma, what about something fun? And that's when Terry said, the Beatles. Everyone came together for the Beatles. They still are. Everyone's together for the Beatles. Oh, Terry, Terry, that, that's just a, a, a rock and roll thing. Ma, it's never just a rock and roll thing, Terry. The Beatles are just, they're, they're just a singing group. They, they're not bringing everyone together. This time next year, Terry, no one will be talking about the Beatles. Ma, Terry stood up and looked very indignant. You're wrong about this. Everyone will be talking about the Beatles. Terry, oh, for, Terry, the Beatles are not Frank Sinatra. That's right, Ma, that's right. They're not Frank Sinatra. There's one of him, but there's four Beatles. <laughs> yep. We'll do another one tomorrow. See you then.